Hey guys, welcome back in Kudu Bangla YT and in this video, we are going to learn how you can simply export our game for Android in Unreal Engine 4.27. So first of all, let's click on game, then click on next. Then we'll create a simple, a blank project. So then click on next. Then we'll be set the maximum quality to 3D and set the desktop console to mobile and our started content to set non started content. And you can set any of name. For now, I'm just skipping. Click on create. So make sure that your ray casting is also disabled. However, now it's loading. So this is first time I'm exporting game in 4.7. So we need to set up some. Also make sure you have the Android Studio 4.27 or 3.5.3 and also NDK and JDK. There's a must need. So as you can see, our game is load. Now, first of all, for control the game, we need to make sure that our input is enabled. So just click on models. Uh, sorry, we need to click on settings, project settings. Then at here, at our project settings, we'll be searched that mobile and we find this that always show touch interface and then we'll be used that our mouse console or our mouse so let's you search that mouse and just click on this enable that use mouse touch okay fine now if you click on play as you can see we have the touch input so we can control okay we can rotate the camera we can move around okay so basically this is a simple template nothing else so we can improve this if you want however let's click on the new plugins that are available click on dismiss now click on save all Make sure we need to go settings, plugins and search here first of all that V and R and then see that R and type of VR plugins are enabled or not. So as you can see there is a handset. So just click on unenable and also VR stream. We don't need any of VR games. Okay. So then click on restart. So now it will be restart your project. So it will be a uh, reduct your plugins that which plugins you don't need. Okay. Make sure that you do that. Okay guys, so now our this thing is good. Now click on save all. Okay guys, so now we need to create a simple map. So just click on save all and you can give any of name your project. Then click on save all. Then go to settings, then projects. So now we need to set up the maps and modes. So here by default it gave us the game mode default and the for editor and the setup map we need to set our map. Okay guys, it's good. Now we need to go to packaging. At the packaging we need to click on this that development and make sure we need to click in this advance and once it's done as you can see there's a give you some option as you can see there's some new also option uh, available but for now what you'll do is basically uh, as you can see that there's a option that click on uh, this ones and this okay so once these two things click and make sure that it's always and make sure that it's full rebuilt okay we don't need any debugging files or also you can uh, disable the installer because we don't need the installer okay guys now we need to go to supports and platform from the all platform we need to click untick and set it to desktops just disable all the stuff like that we need only android then we need to go to target hardware make sure that it's mobile and scalable once it's done we need to go to our android and sdk so at Android SDK, if you already have the uh, what's Unreal Engine need, the SDK, NDK and JDK, so it will be automatically get. If you didn't do that or it didn't come, so you need to set up manually. Just click on the three dots and just go while your JDK saved. Okay, you need to just pick up the files. So as you can see, in my case, it's automatically picked because it's, I already set up and yep, it's still working. Then click on Android. And as here, you need to click on configuration now. And as you can see, if your all stuff is uh, accepted for Unreal Engine, you need to click on accept SDK licenses, as you can see, for disable. Now you need to give a unique com dot package name. Okay, make sure that it's unique. So com dot test dot ig dot mp mps. So I'm just giving a unique package name. Then you need to make sure that your SDK level is 30. So why the 30 because uh, from 2021 from august 1 uh, the google new policy is if you want to publish your game in google play store you must need your sdk uh, 30 okay the maximum or the uh, target sdk should be 30 then for uh, the 30 uh, sdk is mean the android uh, 11 okay so as you can see the install location internal only to set it to auto then if you want you can set the package game data instead of apk if you want so once it's done, make sure that for the small OBB files, we don't need very large OBB files, okay? And then also, as you can see, there's some more option. We don't need to do anything with this option. 
and if you want you can open the google consoles but for now we don't need any of google anything because we have to just you know import this so okay then click on saved now what you need to do is just click on the file then go to file then make sure that also you can do one more thing that just uh, click your this come on your command button and just search first of all your fps and just see the yeah it's correctly very good then let's search the state unit unit okay guys so there's as you can see the triangles is now 30k and the draws 130 not so much okay everything is pretty much good but if you want you can uh, build the lights so for let's build the lights because make sure before exporting any game you should be build the la uh, lights so the lights give you a very high result like your FP fps can be become more good okay so yeah everything is lights built as you can see so just click on save draw okay now once it's done let's click on file then go to package and as you can see the multi ast dxt and etc2 so just click on this one so as you can see it's open then go where you want to save it in my case i'm just saving in my video folder then click on select and as you can see now it's start exporting at this time you can set it to light to unit so it will be take less quality for now at your viewport so you, your unreal engine can use more ramps in your uh, for exporting so make sure if you are doing first time it can take half an hour for first time in a only and blank project how much asset or how much high quality asset you are using like a 10 a 24 texture or a hd quality texture or 265 quality texture this depends on your texture quality it will be uh, make your game larger or smaller okay uh, and also depends on your pc hardware that how much uh, powerful your components are so if you, your PC is so much powerful, it will be take less time. If your computer is not so much powerful, it will be take some long time. In my case, it can be maybe take 30 minutes to one hour. So after the exporting, I'll be show you. Or if there's any error, come on, I also show you. So guys, finally is export. So as you can see now, it's 1040. So here is the, as you can see, if I go to videos and here's my folder. So here inside of the this is the full apk plus obb that's 120 mb okay so make sure we didn't do any optimization so if you do some more optimization you can get some more better result also as you can see that we have our apk and obb so we need to can now basically very easily we can install and use this thing and if you want i will be give you this apk link the description link below so you can easily download and use okay if you want to check also guys so thank you so much for watching guys love you all and bye bye and see you in the next video if you have any questions you can comment in my comment box link in the description below and yeah bye bye